Welcome to Bespoke Diaries, today's article is on, Local, by Brett Connellan, co-founder, motivational speaker, shark attack survivor, Honest Boys Production, Australia. Are you okay day is often a day in the calendar that he finds himself really looking forward to. This is mainly to do with the importance of the day itself but as these days have come and gone and he found himself speaking at different places all over the country, it has started to become a significant day of reflection. The very first time he ever got up in front of a group of people and shared his story was for Are You OK Day which to many, may sound like a simple starting point for any speaking career but to me it was a little more complicated than that. Let me explain why, I've always been terrified of public speaking, not the best start. I had no idea what to talk about, even though I was asked to talk about my story, it didn't even have an ending yet, this was only 4 months after the attack. I was afraid of judgment, I thought everyone would be staring at my leg the whole time. I was scared I'd say I'm a million times, product of number 1 I felt like an imposter, what did I have to teach? What could they take away? There were a lot of things shouting at him to say no to the prospect of following through with this and there's definitely an alternative world where he decided that it just wasn't his thing and life rolled on. But as he reflected on what Are You OK Day meant and the significance that it had on my life only months before, he decided that he had a duty to overcome these fears and to give back. He is glad that he did. Because without this experience, who knows what he would be doing now. Maybe he would have been presented with another opportunity that had the meaning required for him to push through these barriers but the idea of highlighting something positive and aligning with this message and the notion of support that he believed in was the perfect way to start. So every year as our UOK day approaches in the calendar, he reflects on why he is doing all of this and he always met with a sense of gratitude that this day has essentially changed the course of my life. Are those complications he mentioned above completely gone? Absolutely not. He doesn't think they will ever disappear but they are much easier to overcome when you know you're doing it for the right reason. This year he was lucky to stay close to home and present to the lovely people who work for my local council. Whilst this isn't a complete full circle moment, it was great to have an opportunity to give back to the people of an area that supported me so much during his time of need. There was something comforting about seeing the familiar faces in the crowd and peering through the windows of the Kayama Pavilion to see the place he called home draped under the beauty of a magnificent spring day. He often says reflection is a powerful tool that he uses to both measure how far he have come and to help plan what he wants in the future. After reflecting on yesterday, it still feels strange to say, but he is proud that he can call speaking his job and he can confidently say that he can't wait for more experiences like that in the years to come. Thank you for your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Do leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For similar type of article please reach us at contact at thebespokediaries.com or you can visit our website www.thebespokediaries.com.